Let's get started. Here on my timeline I have two clips without any transition. In order to put one I am going to navigate to the effect panel, open effects and drag the adjustment clip on top of them. Place your playhead between two of the clips and with the left and right arrow keys navigate five frames on the left side, trim your adjustment clip, then go in the center and also the same thing, go five frames on the right side with your keyboard. Now crop the clip and we should have left five frames and right five frames as well. Once you adjustment the length of the adjustment layer, select your clip and navigate to the Fusion tab. Select Media in Node and press Ctrl Space on Windows or Shift and Space on Mac. Type Transform and choose this one FX. Press Add. Make sure the Inspector tab is enabled. Here we are going to add four keyframes. Let's go at the beginning of our clip and put a keyframe on X and Y axis by clicking on this red diamond all the way on the right side. Then go on the end of our first video that should be right over here and again click on the red diamond. Then move one frame forward to the start of the second video and create another keyframe. And one more time go on the end of our video and put one more keyframe. After you create all four of the keyframes, we're gonna leave the first and the fourth on the default values and we're gonna adjust only the second and the third. Now let's move the time indicator to the second keyframe. Now adjust the value to one. Go on the third keyframe and do exactly the opposite. Put the value zero. So if you follow me, you should get something like this split screen. Now open spline and select transform. Zoom to fit to see all of them nice and clear and click on the empty space. Control and A to select all of them together. Now the fun part, press S and let's adjust them together. Drag the handle of our second keyframe all the way down. Now the first keyframe handle but holding ALT. Extended almost touching the second one. Just leave some space between them and now the third. Similar to the second one, bring it all the way up. Now the last keyframe, grab the handle with ALT and almost touching the third one. Just leave some space between them. And this is how the graph should look. But now we have empty space, so let's fix that. On the edges we're gonna select mirror. That will hide all the empty space. There is one more thing to make it even better. Just navigate to settings and select motion blur. Bump up the quality all the way up to 10. And if you like you can change the rest of the settings. But I will leave them as default. Let's navigate to the edit page to see the preview for our transition. And thank you so much for watching.